Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my gigalos and gigalettes. It's me Geo. Pancake and Kasha are off the camera right now. I would put her on camera, but she is being a goddamn terrorist. And y'all know who the fuck it is. Alright, um Babe, she's gonna pee on the couch. Take her. Come here, Pancake. Come here. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So, uh, in uh, I made one prediction two weeks ago about Under Armour being a being a uh, you know pretty a pretty safe bet uh, for for new options traders, and I was right because if we actually go to that right now, okay, let's get her off the couch. Come on, tactic. Here's your bump. So as of right now, Under Armour, I initially got in, as you guys can see right there, for $116 was my initial investment. As of today, I am up $124 on a medium length, you know, medium term contract. Um, so I have doubled my money and then some. So since this is a medium, I'm going to probably let this ride until... Closer to the expiration date. Um, if it's worth that much now, that hundred and sixteen dollars might transfer into four, five hundred, six hundred dollars. Like, uh, you know, I haven't even hit the break-even price yet. The break-even price is, as you guys see there, twelve seventy-nine. Right now, Under Armour is still trading less than ten dollars. It's at nine sixty-nine right now. Uh, but I did well. And obviously, those of you who listen to me, you're going to be like, yeah, thanks a lot, Gio. I'm, I'm making money. Those of you who didn't listen to me are probably hitting the dislike button. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to me. And no, it's true. You don't have to listen to me. All I'm saying is they're, they're, the way I'm approaching options trading is trying to find the happy medium, trying to find the state of normalcy. Like I said, with Under Armour, if we go to their stock, for example, for Under Armour, Traditionally, over the past five years, as you guys can see here, traditionally they've been trading anywhere from forty to twenty dollars. That's usually where they they're usually in the twenty dollar range. I made a prediction that at some point over the next four months, four or five months, they would not even be back to their normal price. They would be on their way back to the normal price. Got it? So, enough on that for now. I She's being bad today, huh? I was hoping her walk would wear her out. So, I can almost guarantee you, somewhere in the wide world of trading, there was, there was a degenerate gambler that took a huge risk on Hertz car rentals because they declared bankruptcy last week and yesterday their stock was trading at 49 cents at one point uh, and then at the market open today it was at I believe that was yeah 55 cents yeah no not quite that was yeah. So when the market opened today, it was at a dollar and two cents. Uh, I can all but guarantee you there was one degenerate gambler somewhere out there that's like, oh, I'm gonna put fifty thousand dollars on Hertz to make, you know, a dollar and fifty cents. You know, they 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 would make make a call. They would put an option in contract, thousands of dollars worth. That Hertz would be at like a dollar fifty by Friday. And if they are, they're getting paid because, for example, me, I bought one contract for $15 that expires on Friday. And today I, look at that, doubled my money. <laughs> um, I did that purely, it was purely experimental. Um, if I lost 15 bucks, so the fuck what, I'm up $4,000 this month. Um, if I make money, awesome. That'll buy me, that'll buy me lunch for a couple days. But this was super risky because Hertz was uh, their stock was was very close to being delisted. 
So if it was being delisted, if it was being delisted, I think that means you couldn't buy, sell, or trade any of it. So anyone who had money in it would be essentially kind of fucked. But with a bankruptcy, in turn, I'm like, like I said, I'm not an expert in this. Uh, with a bankruptcy, I'm literally thinking someone's either going to try to merge with Hertz or they're going to sell. And when that happens, their stock price will climb. It's not going to climb ridiculously it's not going to go up to 30 40 dollars a share but i'm just saying traditionally traditionally hertz has traded anywhere from 21 through what was that look at that it's always been the teens mid to high teens right now it's at a buck buck 15. so honestly some of you if you're the gambling type uh you guys pay, pay close attention. If you do a long-term option, if you make a bet that the stock price will, will go up a dollar in the next, how many months is that, babe? 18? I couldn't hear you. My headphones are in. Your headphones are in. Yeah. In the next 18 months, the stock will climb by, uh, you know, the break-even price is two dollars fifteen cents. So you're 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 essentially it's going to cost you sixty-five dollars. This. It's going to cost you sixty-five dollars to make a bet that their stock price will be over. You know, it's going to, essentially the break-even price is two dollars, but you're going to start seeing, you're going to start seeing money on your account or the contract being worth more as soon as stock price went up. So, for example, let's go back to me for my option. At one point today, and I know this is nothing to be like, oh my god, check out all the money I made earlier. Not the case at all. Oh, that dinner that she made for me has got me all stuffed up. Okay, so let's go into what what I saw earlier today. At one point today, because look, right now I'm up $23 when the contracts are worth, you know, 38 cents. At one point today, there were 63 cents. So up 384%. So 200% would be up 30. 300% would be up 45. At one point today, my $15 option my car my 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 you know the contract was worth close to sixty dollars um but i i guess that for some fucking reason i guess i wasn't paying attention or i was just like oh let's just see what happens because that contract expires in may so what i did was i i i have a webull account and i enabled options on there so what i'm going to do i already did i did a long-term call on Weeble for a dollar fifty um for a hundred and no seventy bucks it cost me yeah so I'll keep you guys updated on that one like I said this 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 in my opinion is this is a good contract for new options traders to grow their account uh, like I said I don't I don't want to make it seem like this is a get rich quick thing um that's not the case at all but for those of you who have more money in your accounts you're probably thinking about this right now, like, yeah, I only have to, the stock only has to go up, like, literally 60 cents to start making money. And any news, uh, here's the thing, a merger or a buyout or whatever, it, an acquisition doesn't even have to happen, guys. That's the crazy part. The news of a merger or an acquisition or a buyout has to happen. That's the crazy part about stock is like nothing has to happen for the stock to climb, you know, to, to climb significantly. Just the news of something has to happen. <laughs> something might happen and that's enough for the stock to climb significantly. So again, I'm not telling you guys to go ahead and buy if you don't want to. This is super risky. All I'm saying is this is a very cheap option to get into if you want to grow some experience to actually to actually see the growth happen from you you know it, you know like up close what's the matter pancake come here you want to say hi to everyone come here
Okay, I'm not trying to hurt her. Oh, you calm down finally. What do you think, Pancake? Would 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 you buy Hertz if you had the chance? Hmm? Would you? I don't think I don't know if you would. I don't think you'd be a good trader. What would you buy? Alpo? Would you get options for Alpo? Yeah. All right. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Again, uh, I, I'm in. It. I, like I said, I wouldn't give you guys advice to look into this if if I wasn't doing it myself. Uh, I have one contract for seventy dollars. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with this one long term. Because, um, like I said, if I was a degenerate gambler, if that instead of, I mean, like I said, guys, instead of fifteen dollars worth of contracts, if I would have bought a thousand dollars worth of contracts, then I would have made a thousand. I would have made fifteen hundred thirty dollars in one fucking day. Or and when it was up three hundred something percent, I would have made like thirty three hundred dollars in one day if I bought a thousand dollars with contracts. Now give give me like I don't know, give me a couple of years to where my I have fifty six grand in my account and I could like I'll be like oh yeah a thousand bucks let's have fun let's see what happens. Um, yeah, but as of right now I I. That would be irresponsible right now with the amount I have in my account, and that would be irresponsible for me to tell you guys I'm doing that. So, like I said, I have this option now, and I have the other one that uh, I got my other long-term one on, on Weeble. So, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, this is just another uh, cheap option to look into if you want to get into options trading. And super risky. Just keep that in mind. So, let's look out for this one, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay healthy, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.